Welcome guys, this is Unfinished, the only place where we get to finish and finish matters. I hope you had a lovely weekend because I did too. Today we're talking about online scam. Usha is coming out online, let us know in the comment section. Which takes us to our first question, why do you think most people fall prey to online scams? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Naivety and um, wanting to make it as fast as possible, probably, yeah. So I'd pin it down to naivety. Pesa, mostly. What do I take follow pesa? I'm to come in and take a pesa. So yeah. That is it. You have to. I'm to an idea. Social media. I'm not part of. I'm not part of. Who could have done it? Where is it? I'm not part of. Who So at where is it? Because we Kenyans we are we are innocent. Okay. First thing first. Uh, Youth say like employment in Kwashida. So mtu akipa akiona hiyo kitu kama ni something online but in a in a letter pesa. So ana ko attempted ku join. So me me ni ko attempted ku join in that way. So ni ka join but at the end of the day ni ka ko scam. I think ni curiosity and also uh naivety. Too much too much of uh, uh people, especially the youth, are so naive uh, when they come from rural areas to urban. Actually, when they hear about uh, uh, putting money somewhere, uh, inventing and getting more profit within a very short period of time, uh, they get that curiosity of uh, actually wanting to get more. Um, and also, they are too naive uh, to understand uh, Actually, uh, people don't earn in that manner. It is hard work that pays, but not actually uh, the way they think. So I think that is a, a big reason, and also laziness also, being people, because when you when you hear, okay, you earn money while sleeping, okay, and someone, okay, get that, uh, oh, I can earn while sleeping, so I run my bed, earn, Makes other make many uh, of the youth okay, uh, get into scammed things and frauds. So apo ina depend na trust wa diamze. So maybe ni seme kuna mze wangu ni me trust na maybe ako na connection ya online platform ingine ya business labda ni kitu pia iko. So kulingana na vyenye ni me trust itabidi ni 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 pay na attention zangu kwa platform. And then you in a lead kwa kupoteza kwa do pia. So it's a mekao ku si kwa mtani vijana. So na jua kupata job ni noma. So si su ingili online business tu kwa na hopia kwa moka. So like unapata easy ma online business kwa most. Zina kuzina kuja na ma favors so unasiki uke ka do ita kuina kuja kai mongezeka. Unapata kidana ile pesa na pata kiasi ya neka uko ju. Ano na ita kuja most na most na le kuongeza. Okay, I think most people na konga victims do they never think before they do what they are doing. No na. So mtu ni zaskia like beshtangu na fanya kitu kama forex. Alafu pia wewe you engage, pia ufanya yo forex. But sasa how ja like how ja go through jo forex ni 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 ni. So the moment you mefanya yo forex, unapata you have been scammed. Ju ata ujui like you ujui like you don't know what forex contains. So una scamiwa. Kwa sababu wengi wao wakwangu wamefanya research. E, na so juu wakwanya research awezi kwa na knowledge ya kujua kama ni ukweli wana, like wako, kukwashua kama wana sikamiwa. Ase usikamiwa juu, wanataka kusikamiwa. Mtu wakua nato wanaiza toboka na sikamiwe. Juu, mtuse juu kama ana, ana kama ana shit, awezi sikamiwa. For my opinion, and as I said, but like most of the youths, like they don't like kufanya kazi ile like mtu atoke aenda kufanya kazi so unapatanga like most of the scammers wana to, wana take that opportunity mtu anakuambia like kuna easy money like kuna ekelea kama ile ya betting mtu anakuambia unaekelea like kama ni so then una earn something from that so unapatanga it's easier for you kukuwa scammed kama kuna story nilisikia about mara so like what wingi wa because it's 
like mtu anaona ni easy money yenye nakuja than kitu yenye umefanya hard work for you hadi ukapata hiyo pesa i think watu wengi hawana knowledge na the right um, let me say verifiable sources so um, also watu wengi wanatafuta um, <laughs> let me say quick money <laughs> watu wengi wanatafuta quick money so every time mtu amekuja amekwambia ah this deal about blah 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 watu wengi hawachukui hawa the first step as verifying the source most people automatically want to get the money so they just get into the source and that's where they come for me believe it's um there's no um to say me akuna njia za kufuata za ku verify if the person is uh, if the deal is true or not and also so many people want to get money lack of uh, background knowledge about mabona online like cyber crimes cyber bullying wajua tumejipata tu katika wanaita ka GNZ tumejipata na we are lucky because we can access smartphones like at, at any cost the, the the cheapest smart, smartphone unaweza pata maybe ni around 5k unaweza pata smartphone so with the bundles with the wifi you can just so ile kwamba unaingia mahali and you don't have the knowledge about social media ndio inafanya watu wengi wanaangukia katika mitego ambayo haieleweki so there's need for people to get some knowledge in fact kama ingelikuwa ni vizuri ingekuwa introduced as a as a as a, as a subject from the primary level social media because people can earn people can also know each other people can benefit a lot from social media from the way the ordinary way people have been using it especially watu wa dogo uh, first of all naona kama people have expectations when you the deal is too good naona kama wezi wachana na so that way you'll fall prey to online scamming most of the time yeah people still are falling because like you each and every day you hear news of someone who has been scammed and there are a lot of news about scamming here outside but you still find some people they are still falling like they are scammed each and every day uh, i think that most people are still falling prey to online scams because the most people are using are using phones now we are in the gen z time so uh, they are falling for it because they don't know probably yeah not knowing not lack of knowledge online scamming is basically where you try to work online but then you find out later that the job they lured you into is not legit and it's only there to drain money out of people um one of the reason i think people get scammed a lot is because we do not have enough information about this so some people just start working online without proper information and stuff like that um the second one is also because uh people work on a high pressure kumoka haraka so you see your people i mean your friends are doing something online you don't even research about it you see an advert online and because it's promising a lot of money you decide to just start it without any information which takes us to our next question what are some of the red flags you should watch out for to know that you are getting scammed let me know what you think in the comment section when the deal is too good yeah when the deal is way too good sometimes kuna ingine inaitwa marketplace unaingia unaoda nini unaoda some clothes so unaambiwa ulipe mbele the deposit so after kusikia ulipe mbele so hapo ndipo unaonanga red flags kuna so many red flags actually mimi nitasema moja yenye niliona recently eh ukisha join hizi hizi sites za ku hizo za maskamas bila kujua let's say ni ni ni, ni site unaweza unaweza work online na upate pesa so it reaches a time the, where unapata unapata na offers kianza kuona kuna so many offers eh, inakuwa imekaribia ku, like you are close to be scammed okay kuna kuna ile 100% profit things ukiona kuna mali nafikaga unaanza unaanza kuambiwa you get 100% profit uh, ukiona hiyo because after that kwa maybe uh, in any in anything like kama gas mining ukiona mali imefika unaanza kuambiwa you getting 100% profit alafu after that kidogo kidogo inakujaga unaanza kuambiwa uh, machine failures system failures sasa after after umesikia tu ni 100% profit you can quit from that point ndio actually usikwe scammed because uh, after hapo ni kuosho um no the origin like try ku investigate ni anafanya mostly um 
investigate background as in unajua uwezi tu follow kitu na ujui yeah uh, kwa wenye wana scam watu wanakuanga na attraction nyingine wazimu which si ni washache tu kama ushawahi scamewa ndo unaweza unaweza realize kama huu ni scam next season ama huu si scam so ina depend pia na creativity ya mtu uh, one of the red flags mimi nasema msai kwambia ati kaya ni nimetoka kusema sai sai ndo tumeanza kujua yenyewe hiyo ni no go zone ati ingia na dhao tuongezee pesa ikwe 10k ama ingia na 5 5 so ati kuje 5 kuje dhao 5 hapo ndo 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 tu ni impossible ana kupima some of your nini zitaanza kuwa blocked some of your like accounts zako zitaanza kuwa blocked kwa like ah koni what's happening pavo kwa kwa red flag ni vile msi kwanza vile msi anaji introduce kwako utajua na kuscam eh kuna venye wanaanza kututa mingi 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 unaona huyu jamaa anataka kuscam eh alafu okay like ni hard kujua kwa sababu unapata tuseme maybe beshtako ali scamiwa then now i say waka hack account yake so like they are using her account kukuscam wewe anajua maybe you are close so atatumia account kukwambia oh mimi nilifanya hivi na hivi unafaa kufanya hivi ndio maybe upate tuseme kama na kuscam na do upate pesa fulani yeah like we julize mbona like it's like i give money for an exchange that ujafanya kazi then unaambia we you will earn some money ata hakuna you can no, go nowhere uambiwe ti you can you can come and sit alafu utalipwa you have to work ukisha ukishafanya kazi ndio utalipwa so there is no way that unaweza unaweza ambiwa that there is some money na ujafanya kazi Mm-mm. lazima tu ujiulize why that it is your money na sija work for it when when the person or the scammer starts asking for your personal details in us in something that you you don't really require um to like give your p number or your mpesa number your id number i think that is um a red flag ni mtu tu akuja kuambia like niko na kitu fulani kitu fulani niweza kusaidia ukapata do wakati yeye mwenyewe hiyo time ndo anakuambia wewe upate do wakati yeye mwenyewe hana do ndio so yani ni ile mtu anakuja jana kulikuwa na story like uh, eldoret uh, walikuwa wanasema kuna jiwe ambalo walikuwa wanatumika kuskam watu mashamba yao unapana title deed yako alafu wanakuambia ili jiwe la thamani unaweza niuza nje ugaibuni lakini ukiangalia ni kwamba ni kwa nini huko na ili jiwe na unataka kuniuzia mimi ni kwa nini wewe mwenyewe usiliuze ukapata pesa ni kwa nini unaambia unataka kunipia mimi alafu ni kupeta title deed yangu so unajua hapo ni tutumie common sense wanasema the common sense is not common to all but again unafaa wewe mwenyewe tayari ukuwe na akili ya kuzaliwa vitu vingine hauwezi ingedarasani ukafundishwa so kama unataka kuelewa kwamba this is is coming angalia huyu mtu ambaye anataka kukuambia anataka kusaidia upate pesa anataka kusaidia upate kitu jiji yeye mwenyewe yeye mwenyewe anacho like always niambia unataka kuja kunipia mimi zawadi ya nguo na yeye mwenyewe uko uchi unaelewa it can't be that way yeah so watu yani niwaelewe tu ya kwamba you cannot earn something so easily everything you earn you must sweat for it hiyo ndo iko watu wa chetunje za mkato the only place unaweza pata maybe pesa za haraka maybe ni through betting na ni na ni certified betting sites betika sport pesa avieta huko ndo unaweza pata because hiyo ni kitu unajua kabisa just in case wakupeleka nini unaweza wasu basi msema amekuja amekuambia to do this do that ufanye upate do utampeleka wapi hawezi mpeleka mahali uh, red flag number one, unaweza sema mtu anayekuharakisha for payment without uh, even seeing okay kama ni service ama product you should uh, unafaa ngoja kwanza payment ama service ikuja kwa kwako physically if it doesn't come physically and you have been pushed for payment then that's a big red flag sometimes you may not notice the red flags but when you're careful you may notice some red flags like nowadays there are there are several things like you know like when you're walking and then you see someone someone drop something and then you're going to pick like that's something that has been repeating itself so like people should look at that one even some people even coming to your dms telling you about some good 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 stuff you should also look at that one and also figure it out if it's good or it's bad and then you make your decision uh one red flag can be being texted by a number which you don't know yeah i think that that one one red flag uki text hiyo na msemo ya haujui Obviously unajua hapo maybe unaweza kuona scam au toe do 
eh, me personally nimeshai kwa nimeshai ngizo hiyo box one of the most common red flags is when the deal is too good to be true for example someone tells you that they're going to be paying you 100,000 per day but um, considering the type of work that they're telling you to do it does not add up at all um, the second red flag is when they ask you to deposit money before you actually get to work because it doesn't make sense um, I am working to get money but I also need to pay you to give me a job it doesn't make sense at all let's take a short break we'll be back with two more questions <laughs> 